Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Sunday the 31st of July 2022. Thanks for joining me. I want to use one card from each deck today. I want to use the Cosmic Tarot, Deviant Moon Tarot and the Shadowscapes deck. So let's see what card comes out of each deck here. First one is the Six of Wands via the Cosmic Tarot. That's a real achievement in terms of your life purpose. Then we've got the King of Wands, again, someone who's living their life purpose to the full extent. And finally, we've got the Chariot in Reverse. Oh, that's interesting, because the Chariot is very much about triumph and victory and success, and it has to do with self-will. Or the person jumps on the chariot and succeeds because they first of all make the decision that this is something I want to pursue. This is something that's going to please me and give me a sense of accomplishment. So I'm going to make it happen for myself. So it's very much aligned with the King of Wands and the Six of Wands, which is all about this is my life, my life purpose, my passion, what motivates me. How can I take control of this situation, how can I use my power and make progress or bring more of this into my life? So it's very much aligned with the chariot, but with this being in reverse, it means that something isn't quite there yet. Either the victory or the triumph isn't there yet, and it's an encouragement to keep going because that um, purpose and commitment to something that you really care about that's what will lead to turning this card around and getting you what you want. So a little bit of faith is required on this day, I think, to get to where you want to go. Okay, so let's look at each card individually. The Six of Wands usually is a card that shows King Arthur riding back into town. And the townspeople are kind of giving him a round of applause and celebrating him. Because this is something he set off to do by himself. He said, okay, there is a Holy Grail out there. I care about it. I'm going to make this happen. Even though everyone says it's a myth and it's not going to... This quest isn't going to be successful. So just give up anyway. So the whole card's message and meaning is associated with self-belief that then leads to you achieving something fabulous and amazing that other people are then impressed by, but they can only support you once you've achieved if you're asking for the support and the approval and the attention before you make it happen for yourself solo, they can't be there. They're not going to be helpful. So it's interesting. It's people celebrating you and supporting you once you've done the great thing on your own but it isn't getting the round of applause before your achievement is out there so it's it's kind of like um someone is famous or celebrated in society because they've done this fabulous amazing thing so everyone wants to be a part of that but what goes on behind the scenes the hard work and overcoming difficulties and everything involved in getting that person to this position of being elevated. That's something that needs to be done alone. So that's kind of interesting because the cards are talking about something very specific. If you want to make a contribution and something amazing that other people are going to recognize, the way to do that on this day, and um, usually there's um, this element involved that says only you can do that for yourself. The best things that you're really going to be celebrated for, they stem from within. They come from you specifically. No one's going to get you there. So it's the difference between a singer and someone who's part of a boy band. The cards are saying if you want to create this amazing achievement, you do it by yourself. You're in control. The good luck comes from you and you have so much so many good things that you could potentially do well with. You can actually pick and choose what interests you the most on this day. And it's simply by doing that, saying, what's the biggest passion in my life here? How can I make it happen for myself? And use my strength and ability to, to take charge of this situation. Um, you'll be able to achieve not just in one area, but in several. It just depends on which one you pick. 
And I think the important thing with the six of wands is to try and prioritize, not to do everything at once, but to say, you know, on this Sunday, what motivates me the most? Do I want to plan my career in future? Do I want to go out in nature and enjoy that? Do I want to do something that's really risky? Like, do I want to prove myself and go skydiving or compete in something? It's really what makes me feel strongest and most alive in this moment. Ask yourself that, pursue it, the one or two things at most. And that's what leads to some sort of triumph and other people recognizing what you're doing. So again, it stems from within and then other people are let in on it. The king of wands is someone who's in charge. He's the ruler. He governs the kingdom. And the king of wands is able to create something that other people, again, then are going to be very influenced by. So it's interesting because the six of wands and the king of wands usually, I mean, I see these cards every now and then, but I've never seen this this um the presence of other people in the king of wands card usually we've just got a salamander and the six of wands also with the king arthur thing i've never really mentioned that you know the the applause and the success comes once you've done something on your own usually the knights kind of support him and ride along so the message is here that you're the boss you're in charge you can be triumphant and victorious but the key thing to watch out for is not to wait for other people to help you or to give you the key information that you're looking for. You're going to find that yourself. You provide the answers and anything that you can do on your own that feels even a little bit lonely or like, wow, this is really isolating. I'm doing this solo completely. Those are the things that are going to pay off the most. And those are the things that will put you into this elevated position where you will be celebrated by other people, by society. So this is the message. Uh, this is the kind of opportunity. If you're an artist, if you're a writer, if you're a social commentator, if you're a performer, anything where you want other people to recognize your talent, it's a day to make that breakthrough happen by putting yourself into the spotlight, into the limelight, connecting with the public and presenting what you've got to offer. So it's by taking that step and saying, okay, I'm going to take a risk today and present myself. That's how you turn around the chariot card and you really um, pave the way for major success to come into your life or for you to reach out to it and to claim it for yourself. Because the key thing about the chariot, like I said earlier, is about self-will. So what is really important to me? What motivates me? What have I got that will put me into a unique position? And how can I take that final leap, take the risk today and put myself out into the public? That's the, the missing element here that is required to turn this around and to make the success real. So what's the dream and what's really important? What do you see yourself kind of shining with? Is it your singing talent or your expressing your point of view on the world? Um, your ability to, to use divination systems and how is that not present in your life so far? How do you bridge the gap today? Well, it's not so much about how to bridge the gap. It's about giving yourself the push and the, the support to say you actually can bridge the gap. You know how to do it. For instance, you care about reading the tarot. You want to do it publicly as a job. So, okay, I know I can put myself out there by going to a fair and doing readings or putting myself online or whatever it may be. It's just... Am I actually going to take that step? Am I going to do it? And the cards are encouraging you to take that step. And that then will bring more triumph and success and victory into your everyday experience. So it's really about taking something that's important to you and building it into the structure of your everyday life and putting it into your future. So I do want to be a performer on stage. So I know I'm going to have to apply to the school or the theater or something like that. 
I haven't had the confidence to do it. I have the confidence today. I do the application, I get the job, and there we go. I'm now on stage dancing and other people are applauding me. So it's taking that final step to your happy place where you can live your life purpose. Number-wise, we've got seven and one is eight and six is 14. One and four is five and five in numerology is freedom. So this is a, this is a step to take to realize one of your hopes and dreams and to feel freer in your life because you're doing something that you absolutely love and adore and enjoy. And seven and seven is about good luck, I would say. It's about using your creativity in some sort of public way here that's going to feel lucky. Again, Jupiter, it's like you can have this lucky breakthrough that wouldn't appear on other days. So the odds are kind of stacked in your favor here. The world is biased towards you. So the good luck, jumping on that, will lead to a freer experience or a sense of greater freedom in your everyday life because you're doing something you love and enjoy. Okay, so huge potential on this day. I hope you have a fabulous time. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to order your reading with me. Um, hang on, did I say that? I'm sorry if I said that twice. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share the video online. Yes, okay. Have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.